man. It is early. But we going to Moab! Well, here we are. About two hours in to a 27 hour trip to Moab. So, probably not quite a year ago, we decided as a group, we we're gonna make this stinking ride. We we're gonna go as a group, as many as we could, to Moab. Put a plan together. We uh, had dates, we had everything locked in for uh, the week of April 10th. And the China flu happened. So, it got postponed. And the group got smaller because things, life just didn't can happen. So now it's Ruth and I, Brian and Jessica, and Ryan and Charity. It's going to be a good time. We're pretty excited about it. Ruth and I are driving 10 to 11 hours a day for Thursday and Friday. And then Saturday, we're going to meet the rest of them in Moab. We're going to bring you along for the ride. Actually, uh, this is going to be a pretty interesting intro video, I think, by the time you factor in everybody else's footage, but here we are, 100 and maybe five miles from Nashville, on our way across 40. We're going on I-40 all the way. We decided not to go up through Kansas and everything and down I-70, as scenic as that would be, because of the fires and everything else that's going on in 2020. Uh, we're just going to go this way. It's gonna suck, but it's worth it when we get there. So stay tuned. We'll see how it goes. Well, here we are in Oklahoma. Fair amount of construction in Oklahoma. It's day two. We have seven hours and 50 minutes left of driving for day two. 578 more miles for day two. And this footage won't be anywhere near as exciting as day two in Moab. But hey, you know, we thought we'd keep you in the loop. Well, we're in Texas. I don't know if the camera's picking it up or not, but the sky is super hazy. Reasonably sure that's from the forest fires in California bleeding in here, getting the sky all tore up. Hopefully, when we get to Utah, the sky isn't nasty and we get some stinking vibrant colors for the scenery and stuff while we're out there because Texas so far? Well, it's kind of like Oklahoma. Boring. Well, we're sunsetting day two in New Mexico. We've driven probably 11 hours. We are uh, coming up to Moriarty in Mexico. It's been a pretty cool drive. It was actually pretty scenic. A lot of neat rocks to see. and would have been kind of nice, nice if there was some trains and the train tracks next to the road. But, uh, New Mexico's not too bad to travel through. The roads are real good. Speed limit's 75, and everybody gets to the right when they need to get to the right, so you don't ever have to slow down. It's quite nice, actually. Nothing like driving in East Tennessee. But we're almost there. Stay tuned for day three. Welcome to the trip. Jody and I are on our way to the Atlanta airport. Uh, we're going to meet Brian and Jessica, and we're flying out of Atlanta to Denver, and then we're driving, we got a rental car, we're driving from Denver over to Moab. And uh, as you've probably already seen in the videos, Chris and Ruth left two days ago. They drove from Tennessee, and they're towing our razors, three razors on the back of their truck. So, really appreciate them doing that uh, so we can just fly over. And they're in Albuquerque right now, and they've got, I think, about six hours uh, to drive to Moab. And they're going to get up this morning and head over there. They'll probably get there about the same time we will. But 
Anyway, it's uh, Moab has been at the top of my bucket list for a long, long time. So I'm really excited to be able to check this one off and should be a really good trip. We uh, got plans to document this one really, really good with a lot of video and drone footage and a lot of pictures and stuff like that. So hopefully, hopefully it'll turn out good and hopefully you guys enjoy the videos. the beginning of day three of driving we're just leaving Moriarty New Mexico and driving into the haze you can see it off in the distance those mountains are I bet they're gorgeous without this stupid smoke from California's fires the rest of the crew got on their airplane about an hour ago they're flying into Denver they're gonna meet us tonight in Moab and then the shenanigans really start but uh, we're really excited about this trip. This is uh, it was something worth driving 27 and a half hours, dragging three razors to make happen. So we're excited to share it with y'all. journey but we're glad to have made it pretty good sights unfortunately that California smoke haze is kind of I think it ruined the views but it's still breathtaking to see it for the first time just the different colors and the rocks how different everything is from East Tennessee but we're making good headway 33 minutes, 32 miles, and we will be unloading razors at our VRBO. Gonna be great. Actually, looking forward to day one of riding and getting the heck away from day three of transporting razors.
Look who it is. That's right. After 27 hours of hell. Told it that how many times are we gonna hear about that this year? Every trip? day. I'm gonna say Every the over day. under is ten. I'm gonna say over ten. Man, I'm, I'm lost. Man, I had such a hard day, bro. Hey Ruth. Hey, you made it. Are you making sure to put all the cold stuff with the cold stuff? Nope, we live two minutes away. Don't squish the bread, Chris. Great. 